Welcome everybody. Today it's Mr. Bigums and today I want to show you mean, median, and mode. Now, why do we use mean, median, and mode? Well, to use median, median, mode, mean, 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 say that five times fast, mean, 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 mode. To find mean, medium, and mode, we do that so we can kind of find what we call the central tendencies. And that's kind of like going to be where when we take a group of information, how we can kind of find the central value, which very commonly we like to associate with the word average. So when we say, hey, find the average of this, what we're trying to find is we're trying to find that central value or the central points where um, of all the information. So let's first take a look at mean because that's the most often used measurement of an average or of central tendency. So when we're taking the mean, all we need to do is we take our data and this is some scores that on a recent quiz I gave in my class. My name is Mr. Biggums, I'm a teacher. So here's the class that the students got. So in finding the mean, it's just important for us to find all our values and then add them up. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to say 2 plus 8 plus 3 plus 6 plus 5 plus 10 plus 8 plus 10 plus 8 plus 3 Oh, sound screen, right? Okay, good. So we add all these values up. Now you might have to use a calculator, or you might be able to do this in your head to, 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 to carry the one. And I believe I'm getting 60. Then you need it to divide by how many numbers you have. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. So therefore, what I determined was I had up top all those numbers added up to give me 60. I'm kind of running out of room. So I have 60 over 10. Well, when I divide 60 over 10, that gives me 6. Therefore, the mean of my number is 6. So that looks like that's a pretty central figure for my, for my uh, test results there. Now to find the medium, there's a really, 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 really important thing we need to do for the medium. And that is to make sure these are all labeled from least to greatest or greatest to least. It doesn't really matter, but usually let's just do least to greatest. So we have 2, 3. There's another 3. And something that's really helpful is cross them off after you listed them. Okay, so then the next one is going to be 5, 6, 7, 8, and 8. And there's another 8, and then there's 10. And just to double check my work, I'm going to count and make sure I have all 10. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Very good. Now what I need to do is I need to count into the middle and find my middle value. So 4, 1, 2, 3, 4. Uh-oh. I don't have a middle value. So when I don't have a middle value, what I'm going to do is I need to find the mean of those two numbers. So 6 plus 7 divided by 2 equals 6.5. And unless you have instructions, we'll just leave it like that number. We'll just leave it at that average. Now, if you did have a single number in the middle, in the exact middle, you could just use that as your mean. The last one is going to be the mode. Mode means how many times a number occurs. Or I'm sorry, that doesn't mean mode. Mode, you're going to want to pick the number that occurs the most often. So we look at this and we see, oh, well, I have 3 occurred twice, but 8 is the ding, ding, ding winner because it occurred 1, 2, 3 times, so mode is going to be the champion. So the mode for this is going to be 8. So now looking at our three values for central tendency, what we notice is that on all these test scores, it looks like the central is ranged around 6, 6.5, and 8. And that's how you find central tendency with mean, median, and mode.